In 1952, Boeing developed a four-jet military transport aircraft project as a private venture. The company hoped that the U.S. Air Force, USAF, would almost certainly buy an in-flight refueling tanker to support its long-range strategic bombers. Eventually, these plans paid off. In 1954, the USAF announced that it was to procure this new tanker aircraft. It made its first flight in 1956. In 1957, the USAF adopted this aircraft as the KC-135 Stratotanker. It was the most numerous variant of the C-135 Stratolifter. Overall, USAF acquired a total of 732 of these tankers until production ceased in 1965. In 2001, a total of 549 of these aircraft remained in service. In 2016, the KC-135 still forms the majority of the U.S. tanker fleet. The USAF operates around 400 of these aircraft, including around 160 active duty aircraft, 60 reserve aircraft. Further 180 tankers are used by the Air National Guard. Currently used variants are the KC-135R and KC-135T. These aerial refueling tankers are supplemented by a larger KC-10 extender. It is planned that the KC-135 will be gradually replaced by the new KC-46 Pegasus. However, studies have concluded that many of these aircraft could remain operational and fly until 2040. Export operators of the KC-135 are Chile, France, Singapore, and Turkey that fly small numbers of these tankers. The KC-135 is smaller than commercial Boeing Model 707. It was the first USAF's jet-powered refueling tanker. Originally, it was used to refuel strategic bombers. However, since the Vietnam War, the KC-135 was also used to refuel fighters and tactical bombers. This allowed the fighters and tactical bombers to spend hours, rather than few minutes, at the front line. A number of older USAF C-135 series aircraft were converted to the tanker standard. This plane carries up to 9,700 kilograms of fuel. The primary fuel transfer method is through the boom. The Stratotanker uses Boeing's patented flying boom in-flight refueling system. However, this aircraft can be also fitted with underwing refueling pods. The KC-135 is operated by a crew of three, including pilot, co-pilot, and boom operator. Some missions are flown with additional navigator. This aircraft has a secondary transport capability. A cargo deck above the refueling system can carry a mix of passengers or cargo. Maximum cargo capacity is up to 37,600 kilograms, depending on the fuel storage configuration. Alternatively, it can carry up to 80 passengers. This aircraft is powered by four turbofan engines. Originally, it came with Pratt and Whitney J57 turbofans. Later, these tankers were re-engined with newer and more powerful and more fuel-efficient engines. 